Well, hello and how are you? Hey friends, welcome to the Shen Show. I am your host, Shenandoah Briscoe, coming to you from right here in St. Charles, Missouri. And today we are covering uh, Sunday. Today is Sunday, that's right. Twenty uh, June 20th, 2021. And uh, that means I got some happy birthday shout outs. That's right, happy birthday shout out to Mark Graham and Julie Graham and John Schubert. Mm, one my neighbor, one friend, and one uh, school chum from Monroe Elementary School. That's right. And I don't know if John followed me or me and him was together past Monroe or not. I just don't remember. Really? Maybe. But I don't remember. But I do remember him from Monroe Elementary School. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Basketball by the dumpsters. Him and Doug Nowak and uh, Greg Bohr and uh, Kevin Weidman. We all used to play basketball right far. Anyway, that being said, Keith Woodfin used to be over there too. Anyway, hey, yeah, like I said, that being said, uh, I got uh, the shout outs going out, and so here we go. Hey, John. Hey, Julie. Hey, Mark. Hey, I heard it's your birthday today. So happy birthday, I'm going to say. You know, you're one more year older today, so a happy birthday to you, I say. I say, hey, Mark. Hey, Julie. Hey, John. Hey, I heard it's your birthday today. Why, that's another trip around the sun she made. I hope you're really enjoying your special day because, well, it's your happy birthday day today. Yeah, happy birthday to you, the three of you, and many, many more. Go out and catch a fish, Mark. Go out and catch a fish. Happy birthday. All right. Well, all righty then. Now, hey, I got some Shin Show likes, and that'd be Jamie O'Driscoll. Yep, she's a Shin Show liker. Uh, or lover. I think she's a Shin Show lover. Yes, yes, yes. She loves the Shin Show. And then, guess what? My pokey pal is back. She was actually on vacation, and well, during the vacation, she didn't uh, have time to poke. Of course, she did have time to like the show, but I'm so glad she's back to poking now because now it lets me know she's okay. So anyway, my pokey pal, Amanda Sue Little, is back on uh, on the uh, Facebook post. There we go. Um, let's see, who else? Oh, we got the Shen Show sharers. That would be Mike Shane and Steve Clary, a.k.a. Doug Bell Bell. All right. Well, all righty then. Looks like a weather forecast coming up for you. And that's going to be brought to you today by Refreshing Word Fellowship Church. Refreshing Word Fellowship Church is located at 2054 Campus Drive in St. Charles, Missouri. So don't forget to tune. Uh, come on by on Sundays at 11 a.m. Uh, for a praise and worship and uh, your message. And then on Wednesdays at 1.30 to 2.30 p.m. Uh, for an hour of power, full prayer. That's right. Anyway, right there in St. Charles, Missouri, 633-63301, Refreshing Word Fellowship Church, located at 20. 20, uh, 2054 Campus Drive, St. Charles. Okie dokie. Well, alrighty then. Here's our weather forecast. 88 degrees out there right now. Thunderstorms early, then cloudy skies after midnight. A few storms may be severe. And low temperatures around 68 degrees Fahrenheit with winds west to southwest at 10 to 20 miles per hour. Chances of rain, 80%. Monday, uh, May, uh, I mean June, the 20th, uh, 21st, that is. Cloudy with occasional showers. Cooler. Highs around 71 degrees Fahrenheit. Winds are going to be northwest at 10 to 20 miles per hour. Chances of rain, 40%. Some clouds early will give way to generally clear conditions overnight. Low temperatures around 53 degrees Fahrenheit. With winds north to northwest at 10 to 15 miles per hour. And then for Tuesday, uh, June the 22nd, Mainly sunny skies. Highs around 82 degrees Fahrenheit with north northerly winds at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Clear skies with a few passing clouds with low temperatures around 61 degrees Fahrenheit and winds south at 5 to 10 miles per hour. And then for a Wednesday, June the 23rd, mostly sunny skies. Highs around 86 degrees Fahrenheit. 
winds are going to be south to southeast at 10 to, 50, or 10 to 20 miles per hour, partly cloudy overnight with low temperatures around 65 degrees Fahrenheit. Winds are going to be south to southeast at 10 to 15 miles per hour. Then Thursday, June uh, the 24th, partly cloudy skies during the morning hours, and then it will become overcast in the afternoon. A stray shower or thunderstorm is quite possible. High temperatures around 92 degrees Fahrenheit. Winds are going to be south at 10 to 20 miles per hour. Scattered thunderstorms overnight with low temperatures around 75 degrees Fahrenheit. Winds are going to be south at 10 to 15 miles per hour. And chances of rain, 75%. And now for your fifth and final day of the five-day forecast, Friday, um, June the 25th. Variable clouds with scattered thunderstorms. Highs around 85 degrees Fahrenheit with winds south to southwest at 10 to 15 miles per hour. Chances of rain, 60%. Scattered thunderstorms with low temperatures around 71 degrees Fahrenheit. Winds are going to be west to southwest at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Chances of rain, 60%. And there you have it, my friends. That is your five-day forecast for the St. Charles viewing area. Now, it being Sunday, I am going to sing a couple of gospel songs. One of them, which would be uh, uh, a few different people done this one. But uh, actually, I'm going to do this one first. The Lord, we are the ones called by your name. We humble ourselves now as we pray. Renouncing every sin and wicked way. We lift our voice, seek your face and say, Lord, send the rain. Pour out your spirit. Let the fires fall. He loves one and all. Fall afresh on me. Holy, Holy Spirit, let the fires fall, He loves one and all, fall afresh on me. Lord, we are the ones called by Your name. We humble ourselves now as we pray, renouncing every sin and wicked way. We lift our voice, seek your face, and say, Lord, send the rain, pour out your spirit. Let the fires fall, he loves one and all, fall the fresh on me. Oh, oh, Holy Spirit, let the fires fall. He loves one and all, fall afresh on me. Alright. I come to the garden alone, while the dew is still on the roses. And the voice I hear falling in my ear, the sight of God discloses. And he walks with me, and he talks with me, and he tells me I am his own. And the joy we share as we tarry there. No other has ever known. He speaks in the sound of his voice. It's so sweet the birds hush their singing. And the melody he gave me with my heart is ringing. Oh, and he walked. With me and he talks With me and he tells me I am his own Well, we the joy we share As we tarry there None other has ever known 
All right, my friends. Hey, we're going to cut it short. Story time for the kids. It's going to be a story called The Three Little Pigs. That's right, The Three Little Pigs. No, actually, it's going to be called This Little Piggy. Why, that's true. This little piggy went to market, and this little piggy stayed home. This little piggy had roast beef, and this little piggy had none. And so, each and every little piggy it was just accounted, each and every one, chin chopper. I don't know about y'all, but it, it goes to show you. It does. It goes to show you, chin chopper, mouth opener, eye peeper, and so on. And how about this one? Um, this little piggy went to the market. No, no, no. This little piggy said, I want some corn. Well, this little piggy said, where are you going to get it? This little piggy said, Grandpa's barn. This little piggy said, I'll tell. This little piggy said, um, whoops, my. This little piggy said, wee, 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 can't get over the barn doorstep. There we go, close enough. How about uh, this this one here? Ba ba black sheep, have you any wool? Yes, Mary, I have I three bags full. No one for my master and one for my dame, and one for the little one who lives down the lane. All right, well, ha 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 ha. Try that. Cockle a doodle do. My dame has lost her shoe. My master's lost his fiddle a stick. And knows not what to do. Cockle, doodle, do. <laughs> okay. There's another one. Where's the other one? Pew. I know there's another one. Uh, the one I'm looking for is uh, the one about the little garden. Cockle shells and apple shells. Mary had a little lamb. Let's see that one. Mary had a little lamb. Its fleece was white as snow. And everywhere that Mary went, that lamb was sure to go. He followed her to school one day, and that was against the rules. And it made the children laugh and play to see a lamb in school. All right. Hey, kids, that's it for the Shin Show. It was a shorty for the TV grandpa time. It was a shorty, and I hope it was just enough for you guys to say hi to grandpa because, well, running a little late today, and, well, I got to get her done. Today's devotion in the uh, daily bread portion program is called Spending Time with God. And the uh, daily bread portion of the program is brought to you by The Bible with Frisco 2021. The Bible with Frisco 2021 is a daily reading of the Bible to be completed within one year. Today's reading in The Bible with Frisco 2021 will be Esther 1 through 2 and Acts 5 1 through 21. So don't forget to tune in to the Bible with Frisco 2021 for your daily reading of the Bible. Okay, let's see. Spending time with God. You know, every now and again, you got to spend some time with God to recoup. Refresh yourself. Because, you know, when you're out in the world, it takes a lot out of you. You can't remember everything God's ever told you. And, well, when it's between times, between your spiritual time and your talking time and your time of of trying to spread the word throughout the world, well, every now and again, you got to get back, sit down by yourself, and be with God and you, just two on two, Jesus and you. That's the way you want to be. So anyway, spending time with God in today's scripture and insight, with that will be Luke 5, 12 through 16. While Jesus was in one of those towns, a man came a long way who, who was covered with leprosy. And when he saw Jesus, he fell with his face to the ground and begged him, Lord, if you are willing, you can make me clean. And Jesus reached out his hand and touched the man. I am willing, he said, be clean. And immediately the leprosy left him. When Jesus ordered him, then Jesus ordered him, do not tell anyone, but go show yourself to the priest and offer the sacrifices that Moses commanded for your cleansing as a testimony to them. Yet the news about him spread all the more 
so that the crowds of people came to hear him and he healed of their, of their sickness, be healed of their sicknesses. But Jesus often withdrew to lonely places and he prayed to his father. And so there you have it. That was Luke 5, 12 through 16. He often withdrew to private places so that he could have his one-on-one -on -one time with God. And, uh, well, that's what we all need to do. Okay, hey, that's the Bible, I mean, the Daily Bread portion of the program that was brought to you today by The Bible with Briscoe 2021, a daily reading of the Bible to be completed within one year. Thanks for tuning in to the uh, Daily Bread, I mean, the Shen Show for today. And uh, as always, you know, uh, I got one more song for you, and that would go, Oh, well, goodbye, my friends, it's a time to go. I said goodbye, my friends, it's a time to go. I hate to leave you, but I really must go. So goodbye, my friends, goodbye. I said goodbye, my friends, goodbye. This here is Ben Shenandoah Briscoe saying hello and how are you? Thanks for tuning in to this Shin Show. And as always, you know, God loves you and so do I. So come back and see me tomorrow because, well, hey, I'll be here and I hope that you are too.